absolutely nothing you can do to Tiny. He walked into that one. Snowball save. There you go. Here we go once again with the shard trap blocking the Skyrise Mage. They have the extra combination coming in. Chris Lock's already fallen down, but K1 raged up, trying to kill off Nequa. They have enough damage to get through him as well, but who's the next target? It's now four on one. Puck's coming through the rear, but it's there's just not enough support. It's going to be the call, keeping K1 in position. And Whisper, he's looking, but he knows he can't do anything. K1 is tanking through. Maybe they can. A three-man coil. K1 trying to go full out easy. The Ice Blast is coming in too. They're so low on life. Face shift to get the hell out of there, Puck. He's trying to orb as well. The Yor Scepter defensive. Then the John away to safety. Life Stealer could not get away from this. That's safe. He's waiting for someone to initiate on K1. He used the Infest, just trying to get rid of these catapults. Stop the damage to the Tier 3 tower. Here comes your Corbett, the Snowball save. It's right there in time. Oh, look at that. still holding K1 there with a Hex out. Chris Luck, he's also copying the Ombra from the Skyrath. A double up on that. They're just barely alive. Boogie needs more control. The Avalanche, unaffected the Weaver, still protected by that immunity of the BKB. Tusker will fall. Biomax available. He may as well commit it as Boogie. He is so close to the Fountain. You are at the Fountain. Trying to take this fight. Axe is in way too deep. He'll end up falling down. The double buybacks are there. Tusker and Tiny, they want more. And Chris Luck, tossing Whisper forward. Now Skullfeld in with a flip around. Nefrit going to try and put his damage to the test. He's already lost his guy Wrath Mage. The cleave from Chris bringing down Yol. It's a triple kill for K1. And maybe there's it's another disarm. The Aegis Immortal, it's going to break. You've still got Whisper here as well. Maybe he can actually bring down Wish. No, BKB is there to stop that in kind of burst damage. But the Avalanche clipping the Weaver on the retreat out. It's like, if you need help, I'm here. As he walks around with the gem, now X Mark Torrent. He needs to try and Newell's dodge this. Unable to do so. In fact, now the volley from Chris Luck. The positioning is fantastic. The Ice Boss coming in too. Wish has taken so much damage. But the Ice Boss, it hits so hard. They've still lost Goldfeld. Oh, buyback on Tusk. Oh, that's problematic. Nefret in a little deep. Gonna burn his BKB nice and early on. Puck able to join himself away to safety. Going down the lane. Protected once again by the stay on his oh, the start no. The Hex on Puck as well. While the double Mystic Flares hit hard into the HN apparition. The bigger one is Puck going down. A hundred seconds on the sideline. Buyback is available. Skywrath with no buyback. Was their sacrifice for this? Yeah, and I think you've got to play a little more conservatively. I say this. Oh, oh. Um, Boogie. And by the Ice Blast for the BKB. Once again for protection. Nefret will move over. K1. Ready to fight. Y'all, what's he want to do? No tombstone available for him. So he pistol plays down the axe with the avalanche. They get through the axe. Buyback's available. Oh. Puck's coming in through the rear with the falling Chris Luck from inside the trees. Nefret just gets exploded. And with the Yule Scepter, have they got more control to kill off Y'all? You bet they do. Just a lapse in concentration. Rage. Ancient Apparition is such a juicy target. K1 comes around the back, however, gets the Abyssal Blade stun off. Undying's gonna die so quickly. The Tombstone comes up, he's trying to get rid of it. Avalanche, it's good from Chris Luck, creating some space with the Ice Blast. They at least get the chill effect. Tusker, of course he's dead. This is the way we start every single fight. Oh, oh, Eva! Oh, he didn't get the time lapse off! The Dream Call is holding the rest of war here! There's not enough damage coming in from the Skyrath either. It's all just totally dodged by the phase shift. Axe trapped out. He has no more friends that can help him. Even a volley being way the fight is as bad as the park as undying goes to the trees puck will be there tiny as well the toss uh, it's just gonna be an avalanche of yours to stop the undying from completing that path out three heroes to go down once they find him yeah he'll punch once and maybe yes you kill off stinger another tombstone being dropped but three heroes yeah, dead a wins a win it's a team game it's the life of support I'm interested to see if he can die twice more, but here comes Wind and Rain. They get the Hex off with an Fire, trying to kill the Ancient Apparition very quickly, able to do so, buyback is available, able to do so with him, and the Ice Boss is already flying forward. K1, the big man to fight, Aegis Ball is in the hands of Whisper, it did go the way of the Dire, and they still want to keep this battle going inside the pit. Here comes your Ice Boss, everyone just grouping up, so this will actually clear the shards, shots. hold them in the pit, splitting up war, so they can't even find the target they want. Nefrit, now he finally does, killing the Ancient Apparition with a dieback. Nefrit has himself a triple kill, and he to convert this into even more. The Tusker, he'll go down. An ultra kill for Nefret. He needs to keep going. Now Chris comes in with the Avalanche. They bring down the Weaver. He was going godlike, but the bigger god is K1. Runs in quick. It's like bash hit onto Nefret. They get the punch. He needs to get out of here. Buyback. At least it's available for the Abyssal Blade. So now on a dying double tombstones. They're out and about. This is a good call. Back lines on the skull fell. Oh, he is actually going to go down. <laughs> 20 deaths for him. Oh boy, but it looks like Wall will be pushed up against their own fountain. The BKB from Pookie is such a low duration now. Chris Luck uses whatever tree he's got inside the base, has no lot to work with. But Whisper, another quick silence. This will be the dive back over on Never, unless he can get something off, and he can back into the fountain. But the angel.
Ancient. It's exposed. There's a lot of creeps arriving. Beast Coast, they're low on life. It feels like Nikwa thinks he's got something he can work, but only if Pookie can get himself a blink call. Sting is the only one in range. Even the BT's out. Kunker looking for a target, but it's a full retreat from Beast Coast. Now they get the hex. Stinger, he's got some port Chris Lux nearby. They get the kill at least. But what is the sacrifice? Actors cannot walk away from this combination. Get the hex off, they can switch up. Gonna come out, they're gonna try and use this early hex, try and get an instant pick off. Force up, up the call! Boogie getting two crystal touch screens, but with so much damage from Nikwa! And himself a double kill! Weaver's in the back lines too, looking towards the tiny, the boat is able to connect, they're gonna isolate Chris Luck, he'll go down, three heroes without buyback available! It's the base, watch out, gotta clear those. It's gone. They fortify the Dire Wave as well. The time is being bought by Whisper, just like it has throughout this entire game. And a Rapier is now on the field. Ah, come on, this is how you begin Hamburg. Bring in that big damage from the Weaver. Oh, he does not have gold through buyback right now, a Lifestealer. Oh, the call, barely missing, but the Dream Call catching out three. They're inside the base. And the Great Wave has arrived. X mark, everyone's moving around. The puck ends up over on the north. Life still back to the front lines. Chasing down to the axe. Five here is up. Five back to Melford, but the A as well as the Tiny now. It's actually arrived with the money. There is no buyback on this life, so he's got to be so careful. Should sell phase boots or something to ensure he's got it. Of course, they're attacking into it. Remember, Rapier protected at all costs. Here comes the missing flash! K1! Vlad's on the Night Stalker, the Axe will have to wait, they turn in, there's your glimpse, all the spiders get caught in this with the Brood Mother as well, everyone trapped around the hit the hill, but Chris Luck, low on life, but is he going to, no, no, Rockets, Rockets again, no way to escape, everybody has seen, Whisper never having the opportunity as well for his big ultimate, instead it's just War who run at you and kill you, looking to wait in the trees, they thought they were setting a trap, Beast goes, but it turns around the opposite direction, which is like, if you want to see me, you can see me, but the Dire Observer was up, the glimpse back. And that is two heroes down, and DK is entering the base. 22 minutes in, the BKB Phantasm, damage into Dragonite. How much have you got? The curse is out, but it's on the creep over on the side, doesn't hold anybody there. Nefrit with the soul rip, he actually has enough life, they're gonna keep him away, really rip, no, K1 tracks him down. A huge kill to take, but how much have you committed? The RP is out from Magnus, but you're fighting into the March machines, allowing Wish to play the back lines completely wow. unhindered. Will it be enough is the question. They look for a target. Staying very well split up war, so there's no ability to curse. In fact, Stinger, Dragon Tail stunned up. Boogie thinking about coming in for his own. Yeah, he's gonna dust, so there's no Gloomer Cave protection either. Stinger trying to get some distance, the breathe fire. Any kind of damage they've got, it will be enough. Wyvern is down, buyback's available. He'll commit it to now. Other brood mother, BKBs, finds their own target. It's the Undying. Bring him down quickly. But then DK hexed up for the moment. Maybe they can keep that control going. And then DK won't have any level of damage. Movie comes over. Able to get that nice big silence out. Giving Nefrit a little bit more space to get back. But CK still too strong. Now to bring in this DPS they've been requiring for so long. The RP! Everybody! Marches! It's the penthouse! A double kill for K1. The Master Machines was doing some work, but K1 still gets a triple kill. The heart comes online, and so does Beast Coast. That was the fight there. I like how James Bond has to be for check your corners and hug the walls. <laughs> like, that's the thing you have to go for. Aggressive movement here from Beast Coast, looking for their target. The hack is out to drop to be the first one. The Spiders doing a pretty damn good job at Winter Wyvern. Silent Stuff never able to get that curse or even the Glimmer off. Now BKB from Brood, but he does it. Weighs 20% of his HP. He'll complete his TP away to safety. The Beast Coast really just cutting their losses as quick as they can. 
Boogie isn't done just yet. He's moving over. The silence over on the CK. Now he'll burn the BKB. Hasn't triggered the Phantasm just yet. Trying to kill off this disruptive and Glimmer case, making it impossible for them to continuously see them and continue with this fight. Now Magnus stunned up for half a second. Skew is down, but there's nothing to be gained here apart from death. That was a really nice engagement from Wind and Rain. You want long fights. 70 seconds We're dead. to try and play around it, but because of that gem. Oh, the Invis looking for the target. The Undying is on the front lines. And he can kill him off very, very quickly. And the chain target, but then the curse. Dragon Knight, Undying turns around and finds the RP. Catching the back lines too. Letting Broodmother do his work. But two heroes from Beast Curse. They're already down. Now Tinker, he'll buy back quickly. Try and continue this fight. Four seconds on over on the Dragon Knight. But CK, yeah, Chris Luck has nothing more to give anymore. K1, he is tanky, but that just means that he'll end up dying last for Beast Coast. A triple kill for Boogie. All five players of Beast Coast down. They'll go for Roshan. Brute Mother will buy back, but it's five on one. Able to get there, you can't rinse repeat into the fight like he's been doing so. Magnus walks right into the smoked up war team. And now the cars oh. tries to create some space. Window wide, but that's in a little too deep. Boogie's BKB. He'll be very happy to take this. Magnus does not have buyback available. Now the Chaos Knight looking for his own engagement. A four seconds done. It's good over on the Undying. Chris Luck still having a hard time getting rid of this tool oh. stone. The never ending stuns are just there, and he's actually leaving it. And Chaos Knight can't move away. He has to stand his ground. In fact, you already had the TP out. Buyback is available from the CK. You're pretending this oh, the is jump. Shaman, Glimmer's back up, able to blink himself away. Glimmer Cape offering that extra protection. Gets the Hex over Nine Socket, Mass Open Wars down in the middle of this fight. K1 very quickly set up the BKBs of Breaking Freeze. Gone belt, trying to keep the shackle control going. So Nine Stalker, pull him out of the fight. RP is down. So just hold that Black Dragon in position. One RP. Now your secondary curse is over on the Nine Stalker. Fire comes to the Disruptor. Second RP down, able to eat connected. And they have the damage output if they can just keep them there. It's Gold Belt. There's the shackle. Hold him. Hold him. Bring down. Tinker's able to blink himself away, but it's the DK. He's still so far on the front lines, underneath the Master of Mords, permanently stunned up by Beast Coast. They fight outside their base and they repel wall. This is taking time. Buyback down from the Night Stalker. They get two. Can they get the big one? Can they get the Dragon Knight nice. buyback too? There it is. The third buyback. The jump forward. Boogie. He's able to get the control over on the Shadow Shaman. He was a huge pet the last fight. Now he's removed as well as the Wyvern. The control factors are gone. And a glimpse pulling back CK. His BKB has already been expended. He cannot tank through war. And now it's three heroes from Beast Coast who go down all without buyback. Down. There's still no big AoEs. Where is that Magnus? Here he comes. There's your double RP. The storm is good. It's going to do its work. Whisper. And a second one. Hold them in together. It's just war trying to hit into the dark region to finish this job. But have they got enough life? They're focusing. K1 gets the four seconds off. Chris Lux in the back lines. He's killing off the Tinker. He's got him down. No buyback available. It was a tieback for him. DK does the job. DK, he can't die. He does die. The death for two minutes. Clean the wave. Wait. Oh, let's try to finish the job. The catapults must die. Y'all must die. Clearing sail right now inside the dire base. Y'all try to TP out. They see him. A three second stun. The undying will go down to a triple kill for K1. He, he pulled it. the creep wave with the AoE. They hold the line. The storm is out. So Chris Luck's going to trap the same thing. He's in boogie. So he's in trouble. No buybacks are available for any oh, apart from the Wyvern. The Disruptor does solo what the Brood Mother. Distraction was there. It's still 28 seconds till Tinker is up. A lot of damage can be done. The CK has his Phantasms up. They're going for the tier 4 towers. There's no mass open wars. Just glimpsing one away. Put the wall up. But CK can reach. The blade is long enough. The tier 4 towers are dropping. 14 seconds until you have the Tinker up. Glyph will buy him that little bit of extra time. They probably could have done that with the three hits. Is anyone going to use it? Mass open wars are down. The skewer pulling one back. The got enough. Now Tinker. moving aggressively towards Razor right now, but he has support coming in. Yeah, Astro will be on to him. 
Arrow through into the choke point. He walks around to it. He has got the Heavenly Grace. Movement in. Saber Light. Looking for the dual opportunity. But the Tornado again. Tim saving the day. But the Static Link has connected with the Yules. Armel losing all the damage. Jewel going to come through. Yawa should be able to give him the win. But there's the save. Astral comes out again. Split up through. KP. Looking pretty good. Drag March in. Armel needs to run though. They're trying to distract. But it's not good enough. Tim's Invis will run away. But March won't be so lucky. As he'll be ran down casually by Saber Light. They're just running them over right now. As Sumail is keeping Tim's and Gabby at bay. That is a please God, them. don't hurt me, Crippling Fear. He's the one feeling the Crippling Fear, and they see Tim's now. Getting him low, and they'll be able to finish him off. Curse of your Half the time, saves himself almost all the time. Saberlight. Arrow. Armel. Roots a little bit too late. Astral to stop him from killing, but he'll still go down. Armel, four stuff up, barely alive. The final arrow. Miss. He can't get it. Chase He's him, but dead. the slight fist is there. And the buyback from the Shadow Demon as well to try and, uh, what, defend the tier two, defend the tier three. Intimidation Let's buyback. Definitely not there for the save. This is Cora's already dead. On your high ground. This feels familiar, just in reverse this time. They move in, look for the kill. They'll be able to find Tim's. MSS on the kill and spree now. Now they'll turn their attention to the tier three tower. Invoker Five buybacks. Mm -hmm. Let's see if uh, he can justify uh, playing this position one night. Not stalker. if his team dies before he's able to use it. Come around the back. Quincy crew wrap in on the KP. The duel's going to come out. Astro will stop that from happening, which means the arrow will miss. March will still go down. Purge He's coming. slow down the chase, but now the sleep into the slit. KP getting low. Gets out the Guardian Angel. Only on himself right now, though. They're going to move there. Oh. Sat in clips. Drops him straight down. They'll turn around. Free dead on the side of Quincy crew. And it looks like it's going to be four. SVG dusted up. Can't run away quick enough. The arrow will not change the outcome, but the sleep into the TP. Maybe just about one hit was needed. Armel could not find it. Can they catch him, assess? He's got no leaps left. So no this leaves, should be goodbye, my old friend. Well, yeah. TP, this one won't work. There you go. Where are you now, haters? Agonims on Gabby. Look at I mean, the network. It, it, yeah, it just feels like these moves alone have slowed down the game in conjunction with that Ags, right? It's the, they're always worried. Where is Tim's? He could be close by. And you can see it by the way that Quincy crew are moving a lot closer together now. KP, they're taking a lot of damage away Scout from him. Scout they are indeed KP down to half HP, but the Astral Protect, Armel, BKB Yabar. comes up, you are, and the Purge is there, Chase in from the Remnant on Sumail, goes in, Siren chains out, now the Silence, they jump on top of him, Gabby the BKB is going to run him through, forced off to get him away, but the Tornado, Tim's on point with the backstab, will set up the kill on the Ember, who will fall, he does at least drag one down with him into the grave, but the buyback comes out from Omni Knight, the Jewel's going to be there, hits the arrow, but they lose the Legion, Tips will be thrown out of Sumail in the meantime, because he can't do anything. Dead Tim's for 40 seconds than down. Tim's He's vision. straight into sentry, though. It's worth his life. Oh. Sadis Eclipse. Armel gets them low. Moves in. SVG will fall. MSS triggers the shrine. Too late to save his support. But the buybacks come in. They're at the shrine now. The turnaround opportunity. Astral's going to come out. Trying to stop that damage deal. But they're stunned for so long. Armel will retreat. The damage is on the Razor. But now he's being pummeled down by Gabby. Gets him low. One hit. Turns around with the whip. Trying to bring them down. At least get rid of KP. But no. He heals up. He stays alive. SVG. He just bought back. Will fall as well. And Sumail. He only just got back in his silence top. Can't do anything. As a team wipe, they obliterate the side of Quincy Crew and TNC take the lead. Man, we doubted them so hard, but TNC, they show up even with the lineup that has. As if you use it prematurely, suddenly you just fall to the OD later on. Saberlight. Gabby runs in. Moonlight Shadow's been used pretty early. Dark Ascension jumps deep. Looking forward to the target. Ember caught again. again. Four stuff to get him out, but no! The Lingering Silence! It should be enough to bring him down. The BKB activated. The Void goes out. They get the kill. 50 seconds without Sumail. No they back. might get a bonus one. The Astral is there to control. Can they find the second? Yes, they can. ET goes down. Saberlight chasing him, but Gabby, he's willing to duel. Do really it's going to be more damage. Gabby gets himself a win. They'll chase through. Yawa will melt as well. And this is just getting vastly out of control. As TNC, they've migrated to the Radiant base. Yeah, but they their creeps haven't migrated yet, so they have to wait a little Gabby? bit. However, Okay, uh, four stuff away. 4,000 HP with the Heavenly Grace. If he's alone, you can take him down, but he isn't. No. Like before that duel happened because he was alone, but now he has Shadow Demon Chase and Dominite. Four star forward, you are slow down a little bit. Now the mute goes out onto the Legion command already down to half HP. Should be able to bring him out. BKB, you are TP's out. Legion might not be so lucky though. They're still chasing on. They need to slow him down. Blade Mail won't deter them from attacking. And on the side, they find the ET as well. Saberlight is dead. ET is dead. MSS, MSS also dead. Tries to TP away, but Nullifier stops that. And now there's the Yules. And, and a Karate Chop. Mm -hmm. They don't have creeps down here. They've opened up the base. And now they want to see it out. Duel comes in, Blade Mail as well, but they jump the back line. The Nullify goes out, the Silence as well. He can't do anything. Ember's going to fall to this. Sumail dead for 65 seconds. Insta buyback comes out, but Legion is already dead. He's done all he can. Buys back, but the duel's now been used, and it didn't delay anything. 
They'll calm down for a moment. They did use the GA. They'll hunt in for more, though. Saberlight down to half HP already. Uh, split it through. Silence jumping. Gabby, he's trapped them all. Silent Eclipse gets dropped down. That's going to be a dieback on Legion. Follow through for more. C May will go stay alive. He gave him Armel. He gets the rampage. The GG comes out. He won't get the double, but he asserts dominance over the side of Quincy Crew. Yeah, what a great performance there by TNC. I cannot believe that they actually take this game after what a rough start that they had. Well, if you commit to this stage, is the question you've got to ask yourself because they're moving in on the side of TNT to try and interrupt this. But it's going to be complete already. Armel gets in the pit a little bit too late. Holds his ground. Chain Frost bouncing around right now. Borrowed time's going to be triggered. Arrow through. Hits on the Lich. Now the RP drags them in together. Aegis is already gone. Boogie needs to run for the high hills, but Nefret is here. Looks at the turnaround. Brief fight down. March. Arrow stolen. Used against the Dragonite. Stunned for a long time here. KB trying to run away, but silenced up as Nico chasing. No arrow for five seconds. They've already claimed two heads, including Armel's. And KP might be the third here. Bodic shield from Tim's, no mana left though, and it's going to be a triple kill for Nefra as he burns them both yeah, into they hell. They just gave a triple kill to Dragonite, and remember, he's the one that went for Midas. He has 3k gold now on top of that, moving towards... And now they'll smoke. They even take the little ogre with them, because Yo. their other ogre's in the mid lane and in trouble. The lift and the crit. He didn't have the shield on him. Nefra will blink away, not going to risk it. The tower is low though. They're going to use the glare if they refuse to give it up. They're repping from behind though, they look are. at this. Dragon tail. Well, they'll get the Aphotic Shield onto him to actually protect him, though. They're moving in now. The cap hole will finish off the tower alone. BKB, Nefret, losing all his damage right now. Needs some assistance. The back line trying to move across. Wish jumps in. No, they're going to have to get the Sinister Gazer out. And they're controlling him up with the ultimate march. We'll be able to move away. Wish being carried out. Niqua chasing the wrong target. Wish will be turned around on. Gabby brings him down after finishing off Nefret. TNC. I mean, they're being wrapped around on, but in the end, when the rain, they had a full sense of security. Secure into RP. It's going to be close, moves in, looking for the opportunity, but gets stunned up with the Dragon Tail on the way in. Now the BKB, Nefret fine up against this, moving across, need to get a hands on, RP, Wish still picks up the Aegis now, running through the Dragon Knight, goes down, Wish trying to run in. Has got that Aegis, but it's going to run out soon, Boogie has no HP left to work with, and he's surrounded on all sides, the Sinister Gaze is there, one big crit, one more tap, and your TA is dead. Man, it always looks like TNC are not there on time, it always looks like they are a few seconds too late, and they are, they are too late to take down uh, Roshan and Steel Ages and Cheese, but they managed to do better. They take down the whole side of Indian Rain with only Mirana surviving. Been made aware of it at all and they still won't. Boogie, jump in. One crit would bring him down right now. He should activate Borrowed Time and not risk it. There it is. As soon as the gaze comes out, though, and that was his warrior. They jump in. The crit goes out. Ogre dead again. Have mercy on this Ogre. Boogie left behind as well. And they're in the base. They jump forward looking yeah, for look more. DK, you got that plate mail. Is it good enough, though? He's going to have to eat the cheese in a second. The static link, even though the damage, he says it's that's not worth cheap. it. And that's a GG. TNC, they don't weigh around. Now that looked like a pretty easy game for them. They haven't, like, it never felt like PA was pressured too hard.